What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And in this video, we're going to attempt to unlock the bootloader of the Nexus player because we want root. Basically, I want root because I want to be able to hook up something like this into that micro USB port and a flash drive on the other end. And I want to be able to play movies and TV shows and stuff from a flash drive, you know, <laughs> uh, and open it up and have more things. Install BusyBox, possibly install a custom recovery, possibly install a custom ROM someday. Uh, to make it towards all of a sudden a 64 gig flash drive or a 256 gig SSD is now on this end of it. And now we have our entire operating system and everything's being written and written, written and read from that. That way you have way more storage than just five gigs. So to open up a lot of, uh, you know, possibilities. Now, along with that, we also have this little Y cable here, but I don't think I'm going to need this. Uh, this end right here would go into the back of it a usb port would go right here and then power would go into this thing this is a y cable but i'm assuming since it already has power and it's just a micro usb port i should be able to plug this into my computer and this into the back of it so let's go ahead and attempt that shall we let's plug this in into the back here all right and then we'll plug the other end into the usb 2.0 port of our laptop when you unlock the bootloader, you are going to, e if it's unlockable, you are going to erase it completely. So you're going to have to log back into your account, download all your apps, set everything up again. I want to make that very clear. Anything you had on here is gone. So just know that. Uh, okay, so it doesn't look like under developer options there's anything about unlocking the bootloader. So on the Nexus 9, we ran into a little bit of trouble with that. And you had to go in the developer options and allow OEM unlocking. So let's go ahead and boot this computer up here and get into our platform tools and start messing around with uh, rooting this thing if it's if it's even possible. Today we're not gonna root it, we're just going to unlock the bootloader because I don't know of a way to root it at the moment. All right, looks like a driver is installing at the moment. So let's see what happens here. All right, let's open up our platform tools. If you do not have the platform tools, I will link to my video in the description on how to set up the Android SDK the way I have mine set up where you have a neat little thing here You just click it, it takes you right here and we need to delete the patched and <laughs> We need to delete the inject that was from the Nexus 9 that we rooted Why won't it let me multi-select? There we go delete. Yes, I do want to delete these files All right, we're gonna hold shift on our keyboard and then we're going to right click and choose open command window here And we're gonna type ADB devices uh, something may or may not pop up on here. I don't know. Nothing says it was, uh, was attached. Let's unplug it and plug it back in and type that one more time. ADB devices. Okay, nothing's attached. So if we go to this PC and then we go to manage and device manager. Okay, that's what it is. We don't have drivers for it. We don't have development drivers for this thing at the moment, so that's our issue. All right, so I figured something out. For some reason, I don't have the drivers yet to install this, like to within to go ADB reboot bootloader. But but I figured out how to get it into bootloader. So all you're gonna do is unplug this little power cord here, and then you're going to plug this in. And before you plug it in, hold down the power button, and you're gonna wait. For this little light right here to start flashing multiple times and then it's going to be ready for you so we're going to keep waiting and now we can let go and in a second here you will see da 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 bootloader and the beautiful thing is if we go to uh shift open command window here and then fast boot devices you'll see fast boot so that's awesome. We can go ahead and type the command in for fastboot OEM unlock. All right, so in here, it's so simple. It's so simple. Fastboot OEM unlock. Keep in mind, you are possibly going to be voiding the warranty of this. This is just like a Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 bootloader. So you should be able to type in fastboot OEM lock, and then there's no way to know that you unlocked it at some point. So we're gonna hit enter. It said failed. To confirm, send the unlock command one more time. Sweet. Fastboot OEM unlock. Ooh. Sweet. Look at that. This is why I said you, uh, this is why I said it erases it. And you should do this before you start tinkering around and doing anything else. 
now our thing's being unlocked, and it's flashing. It's flashing fast. Okay, so our bootloader's unlocked now. We do need to root, so we're going to wait for either CF Auto root or some other root method to come out. But now our bootloader is unlocked, and we are good to go. There will be a root video the moment I find out a way to root it. But our bootloader is unlocked. So now we type fast boot, reboot, and it's going to reboot it. And now we are going to have to go through all the prompts and set everything up all over again. The reason you want to do this the day you get your device, if you plan on, you know, doing this to your device, is you don't want to do it down the road after you have a bunch of game saves on your, you know, thing here. And you've done everything you want to do. And now it's like, oh, what a root. Oh, crap. I have to unlock my bootloader in order to root, which is going to erase my device after I've spent months setting this thing up and customizing it and doing everything the way I like to do it. I went ahead and took this care of this, got it out of the way. It's done. So, yeah, there will be a video on how to root this thing the moment a root method is available. And I will link to that video in the description so you'll know when that's done. Or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which... I'm asking you to do and then you'll know when that video comes out and we'll have root and we'll be able to play with our our <laughs> Nexus players some more. So uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is what would Josh do and I'm out.